We've been able to see a lot of the athletes in training uh, over the last few days. I've not seen a lot of Ortiz, so I'm afraid I can't offer up a lot of insight as to how this Open might look, as I might be able to do with some of these other athletes. So she's five kilos below her best ever snatch here. Mm -hmm. It's a comfortable opener. Very strong. Yeah, very comfortable. Yeah. Very uh, very fast off the floor, very sudden movement. Not a lot of easing into it. She just she just goes, but beautiful, beautiful opening attack. Riker is up here at 79. We'll see if that changes, though. It's interesting, Max, what you said about, you know, five kilos under her best ever, and you said, so this should be easy. Uh, in these lighter weight categories, as you mentioned yesterday, five kilos is, you know, that's, that's a fair amount of weight to uh, be or fair amount less than their top lift as yeah. a percentage of their top lift. You know, five kilos Ginger below athlete, uh, super heavyweight's best lift would be an enormous opener. Extremely heavy, yeah. yeah. You know, if Lasher came out opening at 220 kilos <laughs> snatch, that might be, yeah, well, raise a few eyebrows. We'd be expecting maybe 240 in that case. Yes, yeah, exactly. Okay, so as we sort of expected, uh, Haley has bumped up to 80 kilos. Venezuela. Max, I saw Haley snatching 78 kilos in the training hall, and that was just two days ago. Wow. Uh, yeah, according to her coach, Dane Miller, she likes to go heavy pretty close. In fact, he mentioned that at the Junior World Championships a couple of years ago, she hit her opening snatch the day before the competition. Wow, yeah, that's heavy. That's heavy and close, and, you know, if that strategy works out, that's, mm -hmm. that's very smart on them to have really individualized that plan to her. We see a lot of lifters in the training hall taking very heavy attempts. A lot of, uh, you know, they have maybe that final max out session here at the training hall. Yeah. It's definitely smart because it gives them a chance to acclimate to where they are and, and just a new environment. Okay, here we have uh, Zarat from Venezuela. 80 kilos for her. Now this is just a kilo below her personal best, so yeah, very this heavy. actually is pretty heavy. You know, it looks like she can make that. Yeah. She pulled really well off the ground. Her hips maybe shot up a little bit quickly, uh -huh. and that may have left the bar just slightly forward of her center of balance when she caught it. We can see here maybe on the replay. I think she started with pretty impressively low hips, which doesn't make it easy to keep the bar coming back in towards you off the floor. Hopefully we get a replay of this one. Yeah, it definitely has the power. Just left that slightly out front. Oh, Riker's clock has started. And at 80. They could steal the clock of Zarate if they want to. And yeah, they have they, done. They did. So Haley's bumped up, which is technically going to bring out, I think for a moment I saw Mira by Chanu. Yeah. She's now also bumped up. So that's going to bring out uh, Mahela Kambe from Romania. Yeah. So this is what we said. This is the jockeying around. This is where the coaches in the back room are doing a lot of the work. And I imagine, Max, the athletes at this point don't necessarily know what's yeah. happening. They just... You know, they trust that their coach knows what they're doing. And the coach is trying to uh, make things a little bit more difficult for the other team. Yeah, there was maybe four, four to five changes there yeah. in that span of maybe 30 seconds to a minute uh, in which coaches just moving around. And, and, you know, it's it's smart to play that way. You want to make sure you have control of when your lifter is actually going to go on the platform, even if it's only by 10 seconds. Right. Uh, you know, being called and finding out you got to run out there is not a comfortable thing. Yeah, some of the athletes bumped up by just a kilo. Others by as much as four kilos. Mirabai now up at 84, which is actually pretty heavy opener for her. Her best is 88. But before we get there, here's a second attempt for Zara from Venezuela, 80 kilos. It was a, a better pull, but she yeah. scooted back a little bit. You could no see her feet shifted back, and she attack. landed. The bar didn't come with her, and so it was slightly forward still. Now, she is going to get the two minutes here because there's nobody else yeah. waiting at 80 kilos, so she can sit down there, get a little bit of rest. Yeah, this kind of thing, too, can be frustrating for uh, coaches and lifters who are waiting. Maybe they expect a little bit faster-paced competition, and then there's a, you know, a big two-minute clock there. They're sitting there. Maybe they've been sitting there for a couple of minutes already. Uh, and then this is just adding to that. Right. The last thing you want is to go out there super cold, maybe feeling like that, 
that tactile feel, the skill of exactly what you're going to do isn't, you know, totally present. Now we have seen a lifter from the 49 kilo category do this exact same thing. In fact, in the B session, uh, it was Julia Imperio from Italy. She missed 80 kilos on her first two attempts and came out and made it on her third attempt. So hopefully Zarek can do something something similar with this third attempt. But I mean, yeah. it's a heavy opener, Max. One kilo yeah. below her personal best, uh, at least in competition, uh, is pretty enormous. Yeah, def definitely uh, a bold strategy. Yeah. Third attempt. Okay, she's coming out now. Yeah, that second attempt was definitely a little bit better than the first. Both of them not far off being good lifts. That second one, she was almost able to stand up and run it out, but not quite. Yeah, she's just going to dial it in and be a little bit more patient. She can get that bar into the right spot before she finishes the pull. She'll be better. A lot of pressure on this lift. Oh. It's the exact same thing, but yes. she's able to get under it. She's got to move those feet together as she goes. You know, that was just and a, good lift for a couple of millimeters each attempt. lift and finally well, made it, but still it was yeah. forward and she had to run it out. Every single lift was the same there where you know, she caught the bar in the hole, but it was just a little bit ahead. And all three attempts, she had to stand up early to try and get herself back under and in front of the bar. Yeah. Uh, and every time it got a little bit closer, that time by a matter of centimeters, inches left on that platform, oh, yeah. she was able to stabilize it and get that down signal. Okay, so opening attempt now for Haley Reichart from the USA. 81 kilos, three kilos below her personal best. Yeah, this is a, a very strong opener for her. It's a big number. Yeah, she has snatched over this in her last three competitions. Uh, Wonderful stuff. Very smooth. Yeah. Very, very nice snatch. Yeah, and her progress over the last few years is incredible. I mean, if we look back at her competitions from, let's go from 2018 onwards, she snatched 72, 74, 78, back down to 75, up to 82, 84, and then most recently 83. So everything is trending in the right direction. And the clean and jerks, it's very similar. It's low 90s all the way up to mid to high, uh, sort of 100 to yeah. 108 kilo range. Yeah, that, that heavy uh, final attempt here before the competition looks like it was a smart move from yeah. her coach. And making that open is just a huge, huge sigh of relief from the athlete and the uh, and the coaches. We have a change of athletes. Diana Ortiz becomes the athlete. Okay, More a few movement. changes, yep. Yeah. Reichert's left 82 on the board, presumably so they can potentially steal a clock from another competitor. Mm -hmm. It's always a smart move to save that until it's absolutely needed because you never know. You know, you can eliminate that two-minute clock in the run, and it makes the competition run a little quicker, more predictably. Yep. Let's and these two athletes that. are right around the same level in snatch and the clean and jerk. Yeah. So it's definitely within the USA's interest to play every trick that they can on the Dominican Republic. She's been waiting a little while here. She was the first to open. This is actually a one kilo personal record internationally if she makes it. Oh, better than the first. Yeah. Very strong. Yeah, very <laughs> unique style of pull off the floor. Uh, Good just kind of grips it, yeah. grabs it and goes. But, you know, I almost felt like I couldn't say that she rips it because she, uh, sort of the connotation of ripping the bar off the floor is that you might lose position, but she holds position so well. Yeah. But she does pull off the floor extremely quickly. So, there's a problem here. It's currently in for a right cart, but... Now, let's see what right cart's doing here. Definitely, they're going to mess with these numbers. Yeah, we I think the other coaches are aware of that as well. We see, obviously, Brazil Brazil is here in the tunnel, yeah. so they know what's going to happen. I think we all do. Yeah, she's not taking a one kilo jump. So Rykot's up to 83. So that is bringing out the opening attempt 
of Figueiredo from Brazil. 83 kilos for her. And again, everybody's opening very heavy. Her best ever snatch is 84 kilos. So is this a heavy opener or has she just progressed a lot? You know, one of the one of the things we were wondering too is the session is so everyone's been so aggressive to get here. Do they get sucked into this, you know, trying too much? Well, we did speak to Figueredo. She told us oh, that, that was, was very solid. Brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, she told us that her training has been going incredibly well. She said that she's feeling strong and focused for this World Championships and, and you can really see that there with that opening attempt at eighty three kilos. Yeah. Little point to the elbow. Yeah. Right if she had a tattoo there that I missed, or she was pointing to another she did, yeah. rings. Or maybe she was pointing to a, a pressed out elbow, I'm not sure. <laughs> maybe Drawing attention there. to the press out. Uh, no, that was great. Now, Reichardt's coming out for 83, so. A yeah. little bit, well, not totally conservative. This is kind of on. on I think this makes sense. Yeah, on 85 brand. personal best on her third if she makes this. Oh, that's a little bit of a ooh. late turnover, but I think she might have got a press out on that. Yeah, from our oh, three three reds. side angle, we couldn't turn. see it, but let's yeah. take a look at this front angle. You can see she catches it slightly in front of her face, her arms lock out there, and then she rolls it back at the top. It's just kind of a slow turnover. We don't see that snappiness that you need in the snatch to catch the bar perfectly mm -hmm. behind the head. I hope we get a replay on that. We are they change. there? 83 kilos no. remains the weight on the barbell. Third attempt. Yeah, so right yeah unfortunately. Right. Yeah, she got the clock Taylor stolen on her there. Well, if you dish it out, you got to take it when yeah. it comes back your way. That is, that is very true. <laughs> <laughs> now it'll be interesting to see. Does she just wait and take this, or will she go up? There's a yeah, real battle. It yeah, hasn't quite started changing. yet. Please. Yeah, between Haley and. The next lifter out, Jordan De La Cruz, Jordan the Olympian. Uh, both of them battling it out for one of the uh, U.S. Olympic slots. Of course, only three women can go to the Olympics. And certainly only one of these two, if they're one of those three, will be able to make it. So a real battle between the two teams within the USA here. Yeah. Jordan has snatched 89 kilos, so she did that back in 2021 at the Pan Am Champs, which she went on to win. So... If she's in good shape, which she told us she was, then she should look good for this. Very solid yeah. snatch. She sank really deep on that and made it perfect. Yeah, I was commenting with uh, somebody else in the training hall the other day when we were watching her in training, uh, just about how smooth her technique is. Yeah. You know, it's not necessarily snappy, but the bar path is spectacular. And the, the, the rhythm and tempo, the feel that she has for the bar is really phenomenal. And that depth, man, yeah, as you great. pointed out, is unbelievable. Here is the world record holder in the clean and jerk, opening at 84. So Mirabai Chanu coming out now. She knows that she's got a uh, secret weapon in the clean and jerk. <laughs> oh. Very strong. Yeah. She did hop forward, but has plenty of strength to make the lift. Yeah, she sort of... That's a good shifted slightly over to the side when she was Lutter stabilizing that, but kilos, I spoke to a coach in the training hall the other day and uh, who's just there with the glasses. He told me that she's got a little bit of a wrist injury at the moment. Ah. Um, I asked if it was a problem in the snatch and the jerk. He said Change no, pretty much athletes. just in the snatch. Jerk's still okay. Yeah, I think it's just a slightly wider grip. It's a little bit more strain on that wrist uh, in the snatch, but that opener looked absolutely fine. Yeah, the bigger concern too with an injury like a wrist or something that's asymmetrical, right? 
it's going to shift weight. Your body's going to want to shift weight naturally to one side or the other, and that can create problems later on yep. in other areas. So a knee Change or ankle athlete, or hip starts to get irritated. So smart of them to be cautious with that. Yeah. Third attempt. We have another change. Yeah. Riker Athlete coming out for 84 yeah. here. United States of America, 84 kilos. Her third attempt. Tanasan, get ready. All right, 84 kilos. Third attempt. This will equal her personal best. Much better than the first attempt. Looks like that's a good lift. Yeah. Good yep, three whites, great. She's gotta attempt. be happy with that. She's Hunter's now equal with her teammate, so. First attempt, Sonicone, Obviously, De La Cruz still has two more lifts, but that really positions her in a great spot here. Yeah. So opening attempt now for Tanasan from Thailand. One of the athletes that uh, I think we anticipate can get up into the 90 kilo range. She's the 2017 world champion, but she was a 53 kilo lifter back then, back in the old weight category. She snatched 96 kilos in that weight class. So again, sort of the same uh, confidence that I imagine Nina Sturz will have having lifted so much more in a heavier category. Yeah, and Thailand had a very strong showing. Maybe it's an understatement in the 45s, taking first and second place. Wow, very powerful, very strong, but Needed to fight with that to right. stabilize it in the bottom. Could just be a little bit overzealous on an opener. Yeah. She must have done that way countless number of times right. with her strength. One of the taller athletes in the lineup. Not as tall as Nina Sturks, who's coming out now for her opening attempt at 85 kilos. So she snatched 95 kilos just a couple of months ago as a 55. She's the two-time junior world silver medalist. Very methodical. <laughs> wow, what a save. Yeah. I don't think she expected that bar to go behind <laughs> her quite like that, but she reacted like Good. a professional. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Incredibly athletic. Probably not the quite the, uh, the execution that she'd hoped yeah. on yeah. her opening attempt, but, you know, she pulled everything out of the bag to, to save that. <laughs> wow. See it on her face. She, she fought for that one. I think Tom Gorberg, her coach there, has got to be get his blood pressure checked right now yeah. <laughs> after seeing that. I think I might have to as well. Yeah. Wow. A and solid opening attempt. We have a change of athlete. So Mirabai from India becomes the Mirabai is up, but she's probably gonna move up. That's only a kilo more than her opener. Mm -hmm. We see a lot of lifters here clustered into this eighty six range. We kinda talked about this earlier. We know that, that ninety kilo mark is probably the cutoff for having a shot at the podium. We have another change. Those that get above it or those that get as close to ninety as they can are probably the ones that we're looking at in those top spots. Mm -hmm. So everyone's trying to inch their way up, get as close as they can. Yeah, still three athletes to come out. The world yeah. record holder, Hu Zhi Hui. Uh, we have Kan Bei from Romania, who's clearly in shape to be opening quite as heavy as this, and uh, Jiang Kui Hua. But before we get there, we have Ortiz's final attempt from the Dominican Republic. Her first two max we commented were extremely fast off the floor, yeah, she but just she put the bar right in the spot. Just goes for it, so don't blink. Oh, 
Yeah. I don't know if that clock's going to stop. The bar didn't pass her knees. No. Yeah. She technically has a chance, but uh, that's She's not She's allowed happening. to go back on if she yeah. wants to. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, actually impressive that they caught that, the bar not passing. Because that was a very yes. quick start, very quick movement. Yeah, the but timer. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. For those that don't know, the bar, the attempt doesn't count until the bar actually passes the knee. So you no technically could attempt. pull it like she just did and then, you know, try again. Uh, but once the bar passes the knees, clock stops, and, and you are you have taken your attempt. And we've seen that from a few athletes who she actually use that as part of their lifting. I mean, Behdad Salimi from Iran, the right. super heavyweight, he snatched a world Can record uh, by setting up, pulling the bar an inch off the floor, yep. setting it back down, and then performing the lift. Okay, here we have the snatch world record holder. She uh, snatched 96 kilos uh, a couple of years ago. She's also the Olympic champion. And yeah. I have to say, Matt, she's coming out maybe a little bit earlier than I'd have thought. Yeah, well, I wonder how much of that is, is a strategic move for them. You know, she only needs to win this and basically just guarantee another spot on their team. No, it's it was perfection. Not hard at all. No. <laughs> yeah. But... You know what, you say that she's only got to take the gold medal, but that's going to be extremely difficult with her teammate Zhang Huihua. I mean, between them, they have upped the world record in the total from 205 kilos to 213 kilos. They've just traded it back and forth since 2018 when this category began. Uh, and they've done the same in the snatch from 92 to 96, the clean and jerk from 16 to 19. So I think she's going to have to put in pretty much one of the best performances of her life if she hopes to beat her teammate. Yeah. This Here's Mihaela from Romania. Yeah, very big snatch. She's the youngest competitor here. One of the, you know, tied for the youngest. Mm -hmm. Yep, her and Nina Stark, still juniors. Wow. wow, that was very strong. Almost the textbook Romanian style. Yeah, very uh, fast. Yeah. Very Good vertical, Romania. very very extended, and they move their feet quite aggressively. And you notice the tape on her shoulder and the, uh, the colors of the Romanian flag. I saw that. Yeah, blue, yellow, and red. Ready. Look good, lift good. That's what they say. <laughs> That's why I wasn't very good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Likewise. Okay, here's Figueredo coming out. 86 kilos for her second attempt. She made 83 on her opener. The two-time... Uh, no, sorry, not the two-time. The, In fact, her best snatch is 84, so this is a pretty big second attempt for her. The personal record. Yeah, she opened very heavy. Yeah. A quick reminder to everyone as well, the world record in the snatch is 96 kilos, so we're now just 10 kilos under. Oh. Oh. Yeah, one of those no great, strong pulls. The bar went up and back exactly where you want it, but too much of a horizontal motion on that, and it just rolled behind her. Yeah, she did everything she did. She did the, the standard... You know, rock back on your heels, tuck your hips under. Yeah. Everything you can to try and get that bar to come back forward, but she wasn't quite able to hold on to that one. That's going to bring out Jordan De La Cruz at uh, this 86. 86 kilos as well. So if she makes this, presumably she'll stick with the two kilo jumps. Go for 88, which would be a kilo under her best on her third, but of course she's going to have to make this first. We asked her what her best lifts had been in, in training this year, and she... Refused to answer. She said, hopefully I'm going to hit them on the platform today. Mm. Very so secretive. Yeah. I know her coach likes to be a bit secretive as well. Mm -hmm. Plays into their strategy. <laughs> you know, she's got a fantastic bottom position and has a great pull, but just didn't quite turn that over. Right. Yeah, she does have such a vertical pull, and she really... Uh, six kilos is the yeah, third catches it with such an upright body position. Yeah. You know, it's what you aim to do. It's what you're always taught to do. Try and be as vertical as you can. But sometimes being a little bit more hinged over, a little bit more of an angle in the torso in the catch just gives you a little bit more room to stabilize overhead. Yeah, and yeah. There's really not a lot of margin for error for Jordan. Exactly. Well, Figueroa needs to basically take a page out of Jordan's book here and try and straighten this pull out. Yeah. She just barely looped that last one. Maybe a centimeter too far. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, oh so close. Yep. Right there. Yeah. You know, the only correction you can make in that in that uh, position is to try to get up, get your hips back as quick as possible. Yeah. Try to get your body as high as you can. I mean, and that's that's asking a lot. The bar is moving in the worst direction. It could be moving behind you. You have nothing to stabilize against. It's a challenge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she told us that this year she's not had any injuries. Training's been good. Uh, in fact... <laughs> She's maybe the only athlete who's ever said this. She said, uh, in her entire career, over the last 12 years, injury has never been a part of her career. That's amazing. She's never been injured in 12 years, which I don't think any of these other athletes yeah. could say. Final attempt now for Jordan De La Cruz from the USA. 86 kilos. She made 84 on her opener. Much wow. better attempt. Great correction at the bottom there. Brilliant. <laughs> Just fantastic. She looks focused. She looks almost a little frustrated at herself. Yeah. A little glance up at the uh, lights as if she was given that lift, but there's nothing wrong with that. So at the Olympic Games, she snatched 86 kilos also, so she can't be too disappointed with that. 89 is her best ever snatch. Uh, she snatched sort of... Well, actually, she snatched 91 kilos back as a 55-kilo lifter, but she made the cut down to the 49s back in 2019 to uh, allow for a slightly easier qualification for the Olympic Games. Here's Chanu with 87. Notice how the bar might tilt here to her right, mm -hmm. the left of our screen. Well, oh, good fight. She, she shifted for sure there. We saw her yeah. probably body was leaning into or away from that injury. Good lift for Mirabai. Dealing with a little bit of a wrist problem she's got. But was able to make it. Good fight. Nope. Oh. There's a review. It's yeah, very interesting reviewing that. It didn't look like there was any kind of press out here. Right. Watch the replay. Oh, we maybe on her left elbow. We're able to see it here. That's a very subtle. It's very subtle. Subtle bobble. But there we'll was see. A, a slight bit of murmuring in the crowd when they saw that replay. I think everyone's seen the tiniest of wobbles in her left elbow. Uh, Sanicon's trying to come on, but... They're you still reviewing that lift. You know, we've seen some really, at the different meets we've been to together, we've seen some different calls from jury. The Europeans uh, was a lot more strict, much more uh, aggressive calls After being review, doled the out. Jury has determined that lift, no lift wow. Due to yeah, out. we're seeing no the same here, pretty strict. That was extremely uh, tough. A lot of boos. Audible booing from the crowd. I don't think I've, I've seen this Royal before. Not test. since 2017. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Those American crowd can be rowdy. Yeah, that's going to be the Iranians in yeah, America. Yeah. yeah, the Iranian Americans were the by far the loudest crowd we've ever had. Okay, Sanika now second attempt at 87. This is just a two kilo jump from her 85 kilo opener. She was stopped in the tunnel there for a minute because of all that action. So she's just going to regain her composure. She was incredibly strong in the opener. If she can dial this in, I imagine it should be easy for her. We still have one athlete to come out. Oh. Oh. Now she pulls it so high. She's never no, been an athlete Donna's who's got the deepest catch position. Yeah. She almost has to rely on that height. Uh, and her well, arm just buckled uh, with the hip still relatively high, Everybody but that's just how she pulls. Well, Nina Sturk's up at 87. Yeah. Let's see if she actually comes out for this. In fact, I think we've only ever seen Seneca compete at 49 once. 
and she didn't make a to oh no actually she was disqualified from that session uh, that was back in 2018 and then since she competed as a 55 now back down at 49 here 2017 world champ we've got Mirabai is going to come out again for 87 here yeah. definitely uh, frustration to miss on such a slight infraction yeah. but you know yeah, it the jury, happens. Uh, I've got some keen eyes today. So we knew that she was going to struggle a little bit more in the snatch after a coach told us about that wrist injury. You can actually see that she's taped up or wrapped up that wrist a little bit more than the other. Yeah. I guess that's why she's shifting over to the right, just to load up the other side a little bit more. And it happened oh again, gosh, but she oh might be able to Lord. save this. Oh that my word, that is true grit. <laughs> what a champion. Absolutely staggering. In fact, we said that she might bias one side. I don't think we thought she was going to bias that much. I mean, she, she took a full step over. That bar was, at one point, that bar was almost vertical instead of parallel to the ground. That's the definition of doing whatever it takes. Yeah. Good Lord. What is it that you said yesterday? Do it perfectly or do whatever it takes. In that order. Yeah, and uh, here we go. That's when oh it starts moving. And she just holds it. The presence of mind to stay in that situation. Wow. Just focused, laser focus there. And no what's amazing, quit. her coach was, you know, stood there watching, didn't we flinch, didn't <laughs> bat an eyelid. This man has seen it all kilos, before. Please, wow. Please and you know what? That's so good for her. She's a world record holder in the clean and jerk. She hit uh, 119 for that world record back at the Asian Champs, uh, beating, I think, she t I think she took the gold medal even at the Asian Championships in 2021 over the two Chinese lifters. Yeah. Um, and she just out of nowhere hit that enormous clean and jerk, but she knows she's got that if she needs right. it. Right. So to be up there with these other top athletes in the snatch is great. Here comes Zhang Kuihua, the... Uh, X clean and jerk world record holder, the X total world record holder, the two time world champion from 2015 and 2019. I mean, she's been one of the top weightlifters in the world for, yeah. you know, more than half a decade now. Yeah, heaviest opener. She basically making a statement with this lift. Mm -hmm. Wow. Very strong. I mean, that's what you just notice the difference with Zhang Hui and Hu Ji Hui. Their Jane lift Hui just, just looks a little bit different to the other athletes. Yeah. Um, they the move very fast under the bar. They don't pull the bar particularly high. And there's just zero motion once they catch the bar. There's no wobbling. There's no saving. They're just dead still. And then they come up with a brilliant opening attempt there for yeah. Hui Hua. Yeah, the Chinese just look to be like thoroughly stronger than everyone else. Yeah. It's it's unbelievable to watch. The fact that we have four athletes who've only taken openers and we're up at 88 kilos now is yeah. amazing. Nina Sturt's back out. I mean, she's had to sit there for at least 10 minutes, I'd have thought, Max, in yeah. between her opener and this at 88. We have to wonder if her coach had her take some kind of lift in the back to mm -hmm. stay warm. <laughs> that is unbelievable. <laughs> she can't even believe she made that. <laughs> that was a miraculous lift. She landed on her toes, rocked back, adjusted another fantastic Loaders save, but that 88 has to mean something special to her. She looks over the moon with that. I mean, her progress, she's of course a junior, so you'd expect some more progress, but she competed at the Olympic Games in this 49 kilo category. She snatched 81 kilos there, so she's up seven kilos since. She's competed across three weight categories over the last two years. I mean, her performances, her expressions, she really won the heart of the crowd back in Tokyo. And honestly, it looks like she's doing it again. Yeah. Pretty decent turnout for this 49 kilo session. Yeah, this is ex everything we expected, really. I mean, yeah. just a lot of uh, big attempts, mm -hmm. people taking lifts and making them. You know, we right. see lifts like that and you know you're in a very good session. Okay, final attempt now for the 
2017 world champ, Sanakan Tanasan from Thailand. Yeah, tons of power on her first, but the second was just not quite there. Mm. Leaves it out in front once yep. again. No lift for Tana San. You know, she hadn't competed for four years due to the uh, disqualification. She returned to competition back in May of this year at the uh, 31st Southeast Asian Games at 55. Uh, and she weighed 54.8. So she was a true 55 there. So yeah. in the last six months, she's lost, you know, six kilos in body weight. Uh, which is a tremendous amount when you're only yeah. weighing 49, 50 kilos to lose over 10% of your body weight, which... For you, I mean, that would be an enormous amount of weight. It would be yeah. an exceptionally large amount of weight <laughs> that we wouldn't even want to document anywhere. No. no, I don't think we ought to work that out. Here's Snatch World Record holder, Hu Ji Hui, coming up for her second attempt at 89 kilos. Her opener at 86 was very impressive. Yeah. It, it's amazing the, the amount of time she had to wait between 86 and 89 in the 49s. So strong again. Such a good lift. The Chinese just, whatever they're doing differently than everyone yeah. else, it's working because they are just, it looks like they're playing a different game. Yeah. Yeah, I saw Hu Ji Hui training yesterday. Uh, it was the first training session for Team China. Uh, she was just snatching 35 kilos just over and over again. Yeah. Uh, she did do a few pulls, maybe with around 50, 55 kilos, but very light session. And it must be tough. I mean, Team China traveled for not far off two days to get here. Yeah. A quick little session. You know, we're at extremely high altitude, and then she's got to compete. Not easy. Here is Mihaela Kambe from Romania. She made 86 in her opener, still a junior. The uh, two-time junior world, uh, sorry, youth European champ. Oh. Not happy with no that at all. Big, big jump forward on that one. Yeah, she does tend to do that, but you can see the the frustration, the almost disbelief that she missed it. You know, I think she can come out and make that. Yeah, pretty frustrated Suddenly there. looks fired up for it. She can't believe it. <laughs> okay, Nina Sturks now taking a... Just the one kilo increase, I yeah, think. Yeah, a pretty sensible one kilo jump. I mean, at this point, Max, they are looking for medals in the snatch. Yeah. You know, the two Chinese athletes are, have a couple of attempts remaining, well, three attempts between them, but between Nina and Mahela, they're looking for this medal. Currently, Nina has it with 88, but Mahela's still got another attempt too, so both of these athletes looking for 89. Unbelievable. I don't think. How does she do it? <laughs> How does she do it? She had no idea she was going to make that rip. <laughs> I think everybody in the audience was wondering if she had that. Just a one kilo increase to make it. What a brilliant move. Just brilliant strategy from the team. I think we saw about 10 different emotions in 10 seconds there. Wow. Surprise, excitement. <laughs> she looked close to tears and she was almost laughing. I just. Absolute amazement. <laughs> what a <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> she says that. Yeah. <laughs> wow. What a stunning end to the snatch portion for Nina Sturks. Three for three, 85, 88, 89. And that puts her in such a strong position. You know, she's got to be looking at Mirabai Chanu as an athlete that she's going to try to beat if she wants to get a bronze medal, assuming the two Chinese lifters yeah. have strong cleaning jerks in them. And so to be two kilos up is pretty good, though, of course, Mirabai is the world record holder in the clean jerk, so that might prove to not be quite enough. Now, here comes Mahela to move ahead of Nina by one kilo. Yeah. First time with 90 here on the mm -hmm. platform. If she makes it, she's guaranteed a snatch medal. There oh. we go. There Very we go. Very strong, yeah. So explosive. Little hop forward, like you said, but so much power. Yeah. Just 
she moves into first yeah, place. so strong looking. Holds the positions kilos, well. Please. Fantastic China's lifting. And that means that yeah. it's possible Shang that Nina ready. might not get a snatch medal. We have two other athletes to come out and try and move ahead. Kilos loaders. There's been a change. Yeah, we, we said at the beginning, 90 is the cutoff, right? Mm -hmm. We think that's yeah, probably going to be where Shang medalists emerge. And I think that's going to prove to be ready. correct today. Mahela with 90 kilos. Nina Stokes at 89. Then also at 89, we have world record holder Hu Jihui from China. And her teammate, Zhang Huihua at 88. Huihua will be out next at 91 to move ahead of Mahela Kambe. And then presumably Hu Jihui will go a kilo or two above that. So at her last competition with the Asian champs, Zhang Huihua snatched 89 kilos. At the World Cup, a couple of years prior to that, it was 94, which she's made two times in her career, both her best ever snatches. There we go. Yeah. That is Just a fantastic lift. Beautiful and super strong. You know, I'm going to be honest. I think that's a good lift for Chen I think she looks like the stronger of the two Chinese place. lifters right now. Yeah. You know, she's actually she's actually a slightly better clean and jerker than Hu Jihui, despite Hu Jihui holding the total world record. Uh, yeah. Zhang Huihua does have a slightly better clean and jerk. 118 kilos. She's hit twice. Those were world records. Uh, Hu Jihui 117. She's hit twice. So, I mean, there really is only a kilo in it. Yeah. Oh, in fact, Hu Jihui hit 118 kilos back as a 53. That was back in 2015. Here she comes now. Final attempt. So she's bumped down to 92, obviously, to gain the lead. You could hear the chants from the audience there. Hu Jihui, Jiao. Let's go, Hu Jihui. 92 kilos, another three kilo jump. Oh, oh surprising. Yep. The first two so oh, strong. That one looked like the first time we've seen uh, the bar look a little bit too heavy. So hang on. Who snatched 89 first? It was Hu Jihui snatched it before Nina yeah. Stirk. So unfortunately, that does mean that Nina isn't going to get a medal in the snatch, but you know, she's in a great position. She's going to sit in fourth for the third joint highest snatch. Yeah. I mean, imagine equaling the snatch of the world record holder as a junior. Yeah. With that kind of a, an attempt. Yeah. <laughs> it's Motors impressive. 93 I mean, you just babies. never know what you're going to get when you watch Nina Stark. Right. That was China, such an amazing China. display of, you know, athleticism, really, yeah. to make those lifts. This is interesting because... She had 92. She could have taken 92 just for the little increase, but this 93 would give her an extra kilo. It's going to yeah. cushion her for the clean and jerk, which is smart. Based so this just three kilos under the world record held by her teammate. Yeah, it's creeping up on double body weight. Yeah. All right, just a few kilos off. Extremely impressive. Oh, oh, better than the first. Yeah. Yeah. Just perfection. Just no wobbling whatsoever when she catches that way. You know, she did not perhaps quite as expressive as Nina Sturks, but <laughs> <laughs> she has uh, won the gold medal there in the snatch. In fact, her second attempt technically took the gold medal, and then she moved further ahead on that third attempt. Yeah. What a stunning end to the snatch portion of the women's 49 kilo category. Max. It's so great when you hype up a session, you know, you look at the start list, you see all these incredible battles that are going on, and you know that it's going to be good, and then it just delivers. Yeah, and, you know, the best part is the clean and jerk here. We have some, you know, world record holders here right. in the clean and jerk, which is going to mean big lifts. We expect they snatched well. Everyone looks to be in great shape, so we may see some, someone may take a shot at the world record here. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if someone... You know, if someone has to put it on the bar to, to you know, go for the win, uh, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. But the, the gold medal then in the snatch with a three-for-three three performance, one of two athletes to do so, 
is uh, Zhang Huihua from China. 88, 91, 93. The silver to Mihaela Kambe from Romania, the uh, two-time European youth champion. Then in bronze, we have Hu Hui at 89 kilos. And then the fourth, though with the same 89 kilo lift, though she had it second, uh, Nina Sturks from Belgium. For those of you who are tuning in who may have missed it, we have Dahiana from the Dominican Republic, snatched 82 kilos. Uh, Zarek from Venezuela, 80. Jordan de la Cruz made 86 kilos, which put her two kilos ahead of her teammate, or potentially a uh, competitor, uh, Haley Riker from uh, the USA, 84 kilos. Mirabai Chanu, the clean jerk world record holder, snatched 87. Sanik and Tanisan, who I thought was maybe going to be one of the few athletes to get up into the 90s, from Thailand, snatched 85. Uh, and that is everybody, just a sensational yeah. uh, snatch portion to this women's 49s. Let's take a look at some of the interviews that we had with these athletes. We actually spoke to Sanikan, the, uh, the Thai lifter there, who, you know, other than competing back in May, we hadn't seen. Oh, just look at that save, Max, from... Uh, that was Mary legendary. That <laughs> <laughs> was legendary. Uh, that's going to be all over social media uh, within a few moments, I would have thought. Uh, but we spoke to Tanisan, who's on a screen right there. She told us that she's pretty much just got back into training. She's lost a lot of weight. Uh, you know, we know that she competed at 55 earlier this year. Uh, she said her best lifts this year were from that competition, 93-110. Uh, then we asked about injuries, and it looks like she's got pretty much every injury in the book. A knee injury, back injury, wrist injury. Wow. Uh, she's focusing pretty much on just controlling her concentration. Uh, and then she said that she's not going to put any pressure on herself for this competition. She knows that her competitors are good. It's been four years since she's really competed in this category or at all. So she's just going to focus on, uh, you know, just making some lifts. There's Jordan on our screen there, 86 kilos. She was called for a press out on a second. Uh, no, she, uh, that, uh, Haley no, was that called was for a press out. Yeah, yeah Haley. Um, Jordan missed that way out in front on a second attempt, came back to make it on her third. There we have Jean Cuipois opener at 88. She turned out to be the strongest snatcher of the bunch, 93 kilos, which is very close to her best ever. I have to say, Max, it's Mihaela uh, from uh, Romania, who I was just so <laughs> blown away with. There's <laughs> Nina's reaction again. Just so, so incredible. So animated. Yeah, to... You know, it was one of those attempts when she walked out, it was the one kilo increase. You don't, you don't generally take the one kilo bump if no. you think you're going to, uh, if you think you're going to make more. Uh, so that one kilo increase was kind of a well, we'll try it. And I think uh, the fact that she made it and surprised even herself was yeah. just such a pleasure to watch. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, Nina Sturks, we filmed a little bit in the training hall so far during this competition. Uh, we saw her snatching right around 70 kilos. At one point, she had 110 kilos loaded, which she was doing for snatch pulls. Pretty heavy snatch pull, really. I mean, she's looking at 125% of her snatch there, even a little bit more. And uh, she saw me head over with the camera, and she said, if you film this, I'll snatch it. <laughs> and I said, deal. I mean, it's a 14-kilo world record, so I'm not going anywhere. And, uh, of course, she just did a snatch pull. But uh, she's a lot of fun in the training hall. Yeah. So just over five minutes now until the clean and jerk portion of this World Championships, this women's 49 kilo category. Uh, we also caught up with Jordan De La Cruz, the uh, US 49. She said that coming back from the Olympic Games has been a longer process than she expected, but she's feeling ready for the new qualifications. I think she is... Um, you know, almost looking for redemption after her performance right. uh, at Tokyo. She lifted incredibly well at the Pan American Championships a couple of months prior. That's where she hit all of her best lifts, 89, 111, 200 in the total. And then she just wasn't quite able to put the clean and jerk together on the day in Tokyo. And she ended up without a total. There's a great documentary coming out called The Final Attempt, in which they interview her about that performance. And, you know, she acknowledges that uh, it was pretty difficult to overcome that, you know, to get back into training and not let that sort of define her career. And so the fact that she yeah. now feels emotionally ready to attack this qualification system uh, is it's very good. It's very promising. Yeah, well, how many athletes actually go to more than one Olympics, right? We've seen that a lot. Right, yeah. You, know, you, you make it, and, and just what these athletes have to sacrifice 
time-wise, financially, that basically putting everything in their life on hold to train for the Olympics, you know, and, and to be able to do it again is, it's tough. I want to say that there's an athlete here looking to qualify for the sixth Olympic Games. Sixth? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I found that out yesterday. Wow. Uh, I can't remember exactly who it is. I have a feeling it was a 49 from the B session or something like that. But just, just absolutely amazing. Uh, of course, we have another lifter here, Echo Yula Irawan, who's medaled at three Olympic Games, I believe it yeah. is. Uh, okay, it's from pa yeah from Papua New Guinea. Uh, I think she's maybe 44 years old or something like that. She's looking to make her fourth Olympics that's in Paris. Which that's is just extraordinary. Yeah. <laughs> As if one wasn't enough. Yeah. Six Olympic Games. I mean, that would take her back to, let's say, Paris, Tokyo, Rio, London, Beijing. Athens. Athens. Sydney. 2000, yeah. apparently. So that would be seven she'd be going for. 2000. Maybe she skipped. Maybe she took a break maybe in the middle. Maybe she took a break, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> took for some time off after four and thought, you know, I'll come back and do another yeah. few. Yeah. Yeah. Good Lord, that's incredible. Mm -hmm. Absolutely amazing. Uh, Nina told us recently that she took a bit of time off after the Olympics as well. Just to, Well, her definition of time off means focusing on strength, speed, and technique rather than just <laughs> focusing on trying to increase her snatch and clean her numbers. Uh, she said her best lifts this year, as a 55, of course, 95 in the snatch, 118 clean and jerk. No injuries, and she's just trying to get better and stronger every single day. Uh, but she, you know, we asked her, I'm always interested to know what these athletes think of their competitors. Do they acknowledge them? Are they aware of what they're doing? Or do they just turn up to competition and they compete with who they compete with? Uh, but she said she's very excited to compete with all of these athletes because she thinks it's going to be a very interesting competition. She hopes that everybody lifts well and enjoys their time. She's incredibly nice okay so apparently the lifter from Papua New Guinea who took or who's going for their sixth Olympics missed the Olympics in 2016 uh, so it's Dika who first competed in 2000 Sydney uh, and then yeah Athens Beijing London skipped Rio Tokyo and is now coming back for Paris that's extraordinary well the question is when does she stop well, presumably ever. she'll be in L.A. I think she's already booked her flights for 2028. <laughs> so. Well, you know, with her consistency, I, I don't think that's a bad move. Get a good deal right now. I mean, you would have probably bet against it after the second or third, and I mean, she is going for six. You'd so. probably still bet against it after yeah. the fourth and fifth. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah, staggering. Yeah, more power to her. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so uh, just over a minute now on the clock before we get back underway for the clean and jerks of the women's 49s here in Bogota. Max, something we haven't mentioned which will uh, be a little bit more noticeable, perhaps a little bit more pronounced in the clean and jerks and the snatch, is the altitude in Bogota. Yeah. Uh, this is the highest uh, world championships ever. At some point I need to actually work out what the altitude is so I can tell everybody, but it's pretty high. Uh, a lot of the athletes have been struggling in training, you know, just moving around, performing more and more reps, and uh, in the clean and jerk, certainly the lift of the two that's going to be a little bit more demanding so we'll see how that affects people it was a bit of a bloodbath in the b session uh similarly yesterday in the 45s there are a few missed left so altitude here 8661 feet uh doesn't mean a huge amount to me but it, i mean it, i'm sure that's pretty high <laughs> from what we've been told so the opening attempt it looks like it's going to be the same uh, not the same athlete who opened in the snatch, actually. It looks like it's going to be Zarate from Venezuela, 100 kilos, which we currently have loaded on the bar. Welcome and as expected, it's going to be extremely tight early on. We have athletes at 102, 100, 101, 103, 103, 102, 102, and another at 100. It's maybe seven of the 11 lifters opening within three kilos of each other. I think it's about 2,600 meters. That sounds... That's high, right? That's very high. Yeah, that's uh, a mile and a half. Over. Now, okay, now you're going back to... <laughs> oh, you don't do... You what's don't do standard than metric? Ah, see, I... Okay. Now we're back to standard. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. Well, it's, it's two over and a half mile. kilometers. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's over a mile for sure. Well, it is, yeah. Same weight. <laughs> Valentina Kambe, okay, opening attempt. attempt. Interesting. Uh, Mahela Kambe from Romania, who Cruz took Kimber. the silver medal in the clean and jerk. Snatch. Sorry, in the snatch, now looks like he's going to be the opener, but oh. they put in a change. Well, here comes a lot of changing. De La Cruz 101. Did De La Cruz move down? De La Cruz she dropped. She's she now jumping 
back up, I imagine. I'm or is she not? That we see someone in the tunnel, but that's an odd move to... We have another oh, Ortiz she went back up. up. Yeah. So Ortiz from Dominican Republic now at 102. No doubt that might change. Yeah, all these numbers just moving around all over the place here. You know, sometimes I wonder if all these coaches just agreed to not do this at the start <laughs> of the Lena <laughs> Chucks. It would just be a much smoother process. But, you know, eventually an athlete or a coach gets caught out and we it's sad to see, change. but yep. it's what the coaches and athletes are going for. Yeah, I think we're going to see her up here. Rosa, get ready. Yeah, Zarit is going to definitely be the opener here at 102. So this is a uh, four kilo personal best. She's the only athlete from the bunch to have never clean and jumped over 100 kilos in competition. So hopefully right now that changes. She did open extremely heavy in the snatch and it was mm -hmm. it was rough. She had yeah. two basically misses. three attempts to make it. Yeah. clean. There we go. Solid jerk. Yeah. Yep. Pretty wide grip. Uh, not through a readjustment. She just pulls with a wide grip and then jerks with a wide grip. Yeah, that looks a little bit tougher than I would expect for an opener. Right. But, uh, she looks like she's just trying to get a bit of air in. Yeah. Yeah, I've spoken to plenty of people here, whether it's coaches, athletes, or fans, or people working the IWF, who said that they are suffering from the altitude. A lot of countries trained at altitude prior to this. I know the Georgians did it. Uh, the Bulgarians have been training at altitude. Uh, in fact, various Venezuelan athletes have been training with altitude masks on, so she may well have done the same there. Yeah. Okay, so we've had a bunch of athletes going up again. Nina Stokes bumped up. So right now we're looking at Diana Ortiz coming out 103. Yeah, just so much movement here. What, what I hope doesn't happen is that you know a few of these athletes in the past have bumped up those openers in and amidst these sort of battles and ended up not making lifts. Yeah. Hopefully we don't see that today. Is 103 for Dahiana Ortiz. This is a kilo below her best. So again, she's opening pretty heavy. Yeah. And she did well in the snatch, though. She obviously made some progress. Strong clean. Moves her hands there. Yep. Oh, I wonder Ooh. if she's, yeah. Well, wasn't a successful lift. Yeah. A little Maybe slow. Little and she started sort of just drifting over to her right-hand side. Wasn't able to pull a mirror by Chanu and yeah. get up with it. A little bit more difficult to do in the jerk, I suppose, but hopefully she can come back and make that. Interestingly, I mean, it is a, Definitely something that the South Americans do, unlike other countries, is, well, all athletes across the world readjust after the clean for the jerk to get a little bit of a different uh, grip on the bar. Not all athletes, but a lot of athletes, but in this part of the world, they don't pop the bar up off the shoulders. They just sort of elevate and protract their shoulders, and then they just slide their hands out, uh, and that's certainly what she does. So, is she going to have her clock taken? There are a few athletes who could do it to her, but three athletes currently sat on 103. Three other athletes, so four athletes in total. Yeah, because we don't see them moving already, I'm imagining that everyone's basically going to have to take that. Yeah. Tanasan's going to come out from Thailand. She had a pretty tough day in the snatch, 85 kilos, but as we mentioned during that 10-minute break, she told us that she wasn't really putting any pressure on herself for this competition. It's been 
years since she's competed. Four years since she's competed in this category. So she just wants to turn up and enjoy the competition. She looks a bit tired as well. I wonder yeah. if there's a bit of rushing. She's only got 12 seconds on the clock, Max. 10. You know, some lifters like that. They really want that extra pressure. Five seconds. And she's off. Oh, that just looked. I wonder if she just yeah. took 100 or something in the back room. That would be, yeah. Yeah, found herself suddenly having to come out. Yeah, probably a good guess. That, you know, she looked, she looked tired standing there trying to catch her breath. Yeah, yeah. she's still... She's going to be held, <laughs> literally being held to take the load off her legs. She's just... She is exhausted looking. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Well, I don't know if that was a hug of support or literally let me a take literal, your yeah. weight oh. so that you could <laughs> just... <laughs> a literal hug of support. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Diana's coming out now. 103 kilos. She missed this on her open. It's been, it's been a tough start to the cleaner check, as yeah. she said. Two missed lifts at 103 in a row. Well, you know, sometimes I think what happens is coaches get a little bit caught up in everything, and there's there's a, a almost a herd mentality. Mm -hmm. People are moving. Let's all move up with them. Right. Uh, or maybe just, you know, uh, it makes counting and warm-ups in the back a little bit tough, and they, they get caught. and You know, they need to basically just move up so they can get the time to warm up. Mm -hmm. There's 103. Tough clean. Yeah, this is no definitely not what they want. And she also looks pretty defeated by, you know, maybe more than the bar. She's not looking great. And I, I think we're going to see potentially more of this in these sessions yeah. as athletes realize just how difficult it is clean and jerking heavy in this altitude. Especially these athletes who are competing early on who haven't had as long to acclimate to being up so high. Yeah, I mean, they're also, we know she's taking lifts that are, you know, at near maximum for her, you yeah. know, her, based on her PRs. And I have to say, I've had to, on the way walking to the venue, I've had to stop and get someone to pass me a bottle of water just trying to deal with the altitude as well. I almost thought you were going to say you had to ha have someone hug you, support <laughs> you. <laughs> well, I wasn't going to tell everyone that. But not that bad. No. Okay, Tanisan now, second attempt. That first attempt was tough. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, let's see if... If that was just her being tired from maybe mistimed warm-ups or... So a couple of the athletes did bump up their openers. That, sorry, they're 103 up to 104. So she's not had quite as long as she'd have hoped. Yeah, it's a better clean. Better. Yeah. She's got a great lockout. Oh, <laughs> not this time. Uh, yeah, just looked no, too heavy. Yeah, I distinctly remember back in 2017 in Ashgabat, her jerks, no, not Ashgabat, uh, Anaheim. 2018? Uh, Would have been Turkmenistan. Yeah, no, it was 2017 that she became world champion, so it must have been uh, Anaheim, Anaheim yeah. incredibly strong in the jerk. Now, Dahiana does not look yeah. like she uh, is totally focused on this lift. Yeah, it's extremely tough, extremely huge amount of pressure competing with these sorts of competitions. Yeah. Something that you don't take into account as a fan sat there watching. Or maybe you do, but it, it's, it's a lot for some of these athletes. And coming back after two misses on the third attempt, knowing that your trip to the World Championships might end with that total, is a lot to deal with. There we go. It's a better clean. Get the support of the audience. Matt, she just looks exhausted. It's not her day. And disappointed, yeah. That's, that's tough. She had a good start in the snatch. She went two for three, 78 and 82. And then 103 just got the better of her here. So that's the first athlete in an A session to bomb out at these championships, unfortunately. Yeah, she's going to be disappointed with that, but...
You know, the good thing is, though this competition is an Olympic qualifier, it's not mandatory that an athlete puts up a total. Yeah. You know, as long as they weigh in, it's true. Uh, it's going to help towards their Olympic qualification. She can just turn up to another competition. Presumably, she'll go to Argentina for the Pan Am Champs at the end of March, early in 2023, try and put up a total. And yeah. uh, hopefully, the pain of this competition will, will be gone. Now, another athlete who's in the exact same position. Here we have Sanakan uh, Tanasan. She's also missed 103 twice. And if anything, her lifting's looked even tougher. Oh, yeah, she just... Wow, that's two in a row. Jumped away from the bar, jumped back, and what's going to happen? It's a curse of 103. I'm glad that we have uh, five other athletes who are on 104 because we just need to get beyond this weight now. So... Sanakan is going to end without a total also. 85 in the snatch. It's not been a tough, not been an easy start to these cleaning jerks. Reichert's clock is running, but we don't. No, yeah, she coming she there, we, there we see her. Now this, I mean, again, Max, this is a heavy opener. Her best cleaning yeah. jerk internationally is 108. Although I will say, I saw her hit 100 kilos in the training hall two days ago. And it looked very routine. I believe she might have even then gone up to 103. Uh, I wasn't there when she did that, but I know that she made the lift. Yeah, we've so followed her strong. on social media, and she's put up some very big training lifts. Smooth, clean. Wow, great timing in the catch. There we go. Strong jerk as well. Yeah. Yeah, just very competent there in the clean and jerk. And that's a yep. good Brilliant, Leikert. confident that's opening that's attempt. Good. Gets a uh, gets a total on the board. And she and Jordan Brazil. have gone back and forth a little bit over the years. The two U.S. lifters at this most recent Pan American Championships. Uh, Haley, Haley won. Took, yeah, Haley did win. Yeah, at least she's a two-time Pan Am champion. 2021 and 2022, is it? Uh, and then Jordan in. Uh, Jordan was 21. Yeah. Or no, no. There was two Pan Ams in 2021, I believe. Oh, right. Okay. Okay, 104 opening attempt for Figueredo from Brazil. This just two kilos under her best. She opened very heavy in the snatch, though. Pretty solid clean. Uh, the wow. squat jerk. There we go. That's our first squat jerk of the competition. <laughs> Not expected. And it's a made lift. Yeah. So far, the squat jerk Two has a Rosa better make to miss uh, ratio than the split jerk. 100% success rate yeah. so far. We'll take that. First attempt. Can they get ready? So, not quite as easy in the clean at 104 as it was for Haley Riker, but still a successful lift. We have two other. Three other athletes with 104 written in. Nina Sturks, uh, Mahela Cambe, and then the second attempt of Zarate from Venezuela. Here comes Nina for her opening attempt. Now, she competed at a national competition earlier this month. Uh, I don't think she was quite down at 49 yet, but she was certainly on her way. She made 110 look pretty routine. She also made 105, I think, in the training hall a few days ago. It looked very easy, so I imagine... This isn't going to cause too much of an issue for her. Very strong clean. Ah, there go. Strong lift all around. Yeah. Brilliant stuff. Good lift for Sturks on her opening attempt. You know, she's had a couple of tough competitions uh, over the last year and a half, really. You know, at the European Championships back in May, which you and I commentated on, that was in uh, Albania. She did end up with a medal, but she didn't have the best day. She missed a fair few lifts, but now four for four, 193 kilos in the total. She's in a really great spot. Yeah. It's worth mentioning as well that the top total from the B session has now been surpassed, 184 was the best total. We have three athletes over that already. Five athletes still yet to open. Here's one of them. It's Kambe. 
Well, basically her direct competition here. She outsnatched Sturks by one kilo, yeah. taking the same clean and jerk here. A little hop forward again, like yeah. in the snatch. Very, very. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Powerful jerk, yeah. but maybe a little bit off balance. Bit acrobatic. It's possible Good. we're going to see that happen again at some point. Uh, we have Li Fabin competing tomorrow from China, the yeah. 61 kilo snatch and total world record holder. He's known for a bit of a one legged act in the jerk, also. Now they're really turning up the music in the venue. Change of weight, change of athlete, one of five Trying to fire up the crowd. That was a very strong opening attempt. Max, the battle between Nina and Mihaela, I think, is going to be amazing. There were, yeah. there were several battles there. I mean, we've got the two Chinese athletes who are out in front. There's Mirabai, the clean jerk world record holder, who's going to try and reclaim some ground after snatching a little bit less. We've got the two US athletes there also competing against Nina and Kambe, who have got a little battle of their own going. Yeah. And There's a lot going on here. Yeah, the two juniors as well. Right, yeah. Bragging rights there. Right. So here's 105, opening attempt for Jordan Dela Cruz. That's good left. I think we're going to see maybe yeah. possible Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought, yeah. The left arm definitely... There was something there. Yeah. You could see also the delay. Yeah, the jury the stopped. Jury. Oh, the jury may overturn this. Wow. So unless there's a challenge card. I don't think well, the US put in a challenge, so I think the jury have wanted to take a look at that. Yeah, yeah, it's her, yeah, that's her left elbow, isn't it? Based on what we saw earlier from the standard of press out with Reichert, uh, that's yeah, yeah. at least as bad. Yeah, I think maybe even, yeah. Yeah, a little bit more. Yeah, clear buckle. That's, uh, that's going to be a, a real frustration. You know, not only do you waste an attempt, but you get a little bit more fatigued for the following two lifts. Yeah. Well, you know, this is, I think this is very similar. You know, at the Olympics, she struggled with 108, and, and it was a similar, you know, yeah. missing the first on a press or a bobble. Not, not the way you want to start. Yeah, at her last international back in July, that was Pan Am Champs, she clean jerked 108. The Olympics, as you mentioned, she didn't make any lifts. Prior to that, she made a couple of other. She, well, she did 111 in 2021, 108 in 2020. So yeah. this is it's not below a the opener. sort of way, yeah, below what she's been capable of for a while. Okay, so it's all right now from Venezuela. Second attempt. She made 80 kilos in the snatch, 102 on her opener. That opener was already a four kilo international record for her. So this to extend it by another three. Oh. There was almost a, a hesitation at the end of the pull. There was almost no hang time there where she was waiting to go under and it crashed on her quite a bit. Looks like she's maybe in a little bit of pain. Yeah. Yeah, never a bit of pain in that knee. Yeah, never Cross fun to have the bar fall on you like that, yeah. She's limping here. She may still come out, but looks to be uh, not comfortable. No. So, as it stands, Haley is the one who's going to come out, but presumably she's going to bump that up. Yeah. Steal the clock. The oh, no, because we Tasha have Rosa figure eight at 105, who Brazil. is also going to bump up, presumably. That brings out De La Cruz. De La Cruz who is going to come out. Yeah, yeah, these two athletes on your screen both missed 105, so they're going to take it in turns now. That's the wrong name on screen. This is Jordan De La Cruz coming out. There we there go. We have another yeah. change. The athlete becomes Jordan De La Cruz. Second attempt, United States of America. And clean looked very solid on the last attempt. Jack was a little bit wobbly. Press out on the left elbow. 
Yeah, she's a very strong clean and jerker. Clean looked a touch heavier. Yeah, a little forward. There we go. That's yeah. a great lockout. She made that one. Yep. She's got a total, but now she's not really in the driver's seat anymore. She's neck and neck against her countryman, Reichert. Now she's still got a kilo, right? She outsnatched Haley by two kilos. But she's only got one attempt left. One attempt left. So, oh, and she's a kilo up in the clean shape. Yeah, so she's yeah. three in the total, but with just one attempt remaining, like you said. Haley's got two. Uji Hui has also put another pretty. Light opening attempt. I wonder if she's just not in the best shape. Uh, here comes Zare. Final attempt now, 105. Not the best attempt on her second. Let's see if she can come back and make this now. Oh, what a wow. brutal clean. Yeah, that's gutsy. Readjusts, gets that wider grip. Oh. oh, she went for that. She really did. She split a lot wider than no she did in her other attempts. Wow. Her third attempt. I mean, everything to get Over up with that. She tucked her hips under. Yeah. Chest came over. She came up onto her toes. There was not a kilo more no. on that queen. So that's another athlete finished with their competition. 182 kilo total for the Venezuelan athlete, 80-102. The 102 was a four kilo personal best. Here's Hu Ji Hui, the snatch world record holder and the total world record holder. Clearly not in the best shape. We haven't seen her compete since the Olympic Games when she won, so she is the reigning Olympic champion. Yes, yeah, surprisingly low opener here. I suppose she knows the kind of shape that she can get into, and she knows that she has other competitions over the next year and a half in which she can put up the bigger totals. This just to get another medal, presumably. And wow. Oddly enough, a tough looking clean at that weight for her. Yeah. She, she's in bit. pain there. Good she lift for Hu Zhu Hui on her first attempt. Looks to be wincing a little after. Yeah, Jack didn't look like an attempt. issue, but the clean, like Haley you said, Riker did look a little bit more tough. So we've got the basically these two different battles here Riker. with Sturks, Cambe, and then Reichart and De La Cruz. Everyone De La moving around. De La Cruz probably going to bump up. It's only a kilo jump. I imagine we'll see Reichert possibly try for 107. That would give her Riker, a tie Riker. with De La Cruz. Yeah, personal best of 108. Yeah. So she took a kilo under her personal best more. on a Lovers second attempt in the snatch as well. So it looks like she's going to do that again here. Yeah. 107 and then go for a personal best on her third. Here she comes. One of two athletes in this competition from the same team. We'll see Jake competing in the men's 73s in a few days' time. In, in the same relationship as her. Oh, really? Yeah, I believe her and oh, Jake are, are uh, together. So here we go, second attempt now. Smooth clean. So Beautiful strong. Beautiful recovery. Oh, there we go. Brilliant lift. That was just Unbelievable. so flawless and just perfectly efficient. Her timing Good in Riker the lift, you know, not only just in the turnover and the catching of the bounce, which is unbelievable, but barbell, in the jerk, she uses the oscillation of the bar oh, so well. Perfectly. Her, you know, her feet landing on the platform, elbows locking out at the right yeah. time. I mean, it is perfect. And Max, you know, there's a battle between the two athletes from the USA, but there has to be a bit of a battle between the two coaches. I'm oh. sure both of them are thinking, you know, <laughs> I want to get the bragging rights after this competition. Oh, I want to sure. have the number 149 in the country. For sure. 
Figueredo now, second attempt, 107. She made 104 in her first. Snatched 83. This will put her up at 190. It's a tough clean, but it was tough on her open up. Yeah. Now she is a squat jerker. Oh. No. Just no drive there. Yeah. I wonder, no for Rosa, I wonder if that was just a attempt. timing issue. She maybe just remains 107 kilos, didn't set herself up properly or if it was really that heavy. Sturks, yeah, normally squat jerkers tend to have Kempe a bit of an excess of strength in their legs, yeah. make the clean look easy, and uh, and they're not too worried about having to go back down and come back up with it. But she certainly has maybe not got quite that with her. The clean was pretty tough. So... Now we have the one of the other battles going on here. We have Cambe and yep. Sturks basically like mm -hmm. bouncing back and forth just back like and De La Cruz and, and Reichert. Yeah. And you know if Mahela's gonna take a three kilo jump here, my feeling is that she's probably not quite got the clean and jerk that Nina's got at the at this moment. Yeah, but Nina's looking pretty strong in the clean and jerk. She is a kilo down in the snatch though, so she'll need to do two kilos more than Mahela Cambe makes in the clean and jerk. I wonder if we'll see Nina go for two kilos above this on a second attempt or wait to play wait to play it out on the third. Oh, tough clean. Yeah. We'll hop forward. She was pretty strong in the jerk. She's going to hold it. I wonder what she's going to get. Oh, <laughs> what a shame. No lift for she was there, but yeah. she tried to recover maybe just a second too soon. I'd be interested to have known if she had been able to hold it, would she have ended up with three whites or two whites? I'm not, not totally sure. Yeah. There was some wobbling going on, but I guess Nina then doesn't need to worry about going to 109. She can come out at 108 if she wants to. Well. She got her two-minute clock taken from her. Who was that by? I didn't notice. Rosa, I think. Right. Figueredo moved up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she held off on 107 after yeah. the miss. And that's that's Can't really where, more. yeah. See, yeah. that's really where that two-minute clock, the steel in the clock, makes a big difference in the clean and jerk. These lifters are she's she's still trying to catch her breath. Yeah. If she had 30 more seconds to go out there, that would not be not be desirable. Yeah. But now she's got to bump a kilo, which is again. Puts her in a bad spot because it's the last attempt she has. She can't fight with Sturks anymore after this change. lift. Oh, oh see, Bono. that's Jordan almost. De La Cruz, Cruz is taking 108. Yeah, 108. Yeah, you're stuck between a rock and a hard place when you get your clock taken. Do you either accept the shorter rest period or do you go up even heavier? Oh, De La Cruz going Cruz up too. Wow. So, you know, so many people Rosa hadn't Gilberto. moved up and declared weights, mm -hmm. they just let the automatic increase kind of sit on the card that uh, Kembe may actually get the equivalent of a two minute clock here, maybe we more. Haley's bumped. Wow, Every, everyone is moving. I imagine Figueredo will come out and Cafe, take this. She missed 107, it looked yeah. pretty heavy. She's had a few minutes now. 108 would be the smart decision. She's not gonna be able to lift anything that's gonna put her in amongst the medals, so this to just build on her total. Yeah, make a total here. Now she's still wrapping she's up. She's 34 not seconds, yeah. I think you can see she's aware of the time pressure. They may have bumped her just because of that. They might have been caught. She's fine with time. She's got 20 seconds on the clock. Not as long as you'd hoped. It's never enjoyable feeling rushed as an athlete. Yeah. Okay, 10 seconds. There we go. Five. Can't you get up with it? Ah. 
Yeah, a real surprise that no, she's a squat no, jerker. No, you know, like you said, a lot of squat jerkers that we've seen that are very successful were extraordinarily strong, yeah. uh, especially in the legs. Uh, to, to miss cleans in the recovery there is not indicative of a lot of leg strength. Something that you and I noticed at the European Championships, Max, ready. was that almost the entire Ukrainian team, particularly yeah. on the women's side, uh, all squat jacked. Yeah. So yeah. we'll see some of that over the next few days. Kamila Konotop will be competing uh, not tomorrow, I don't feel it. Maybe tomorrow, or the day after. Uh, so we'll see that squat jerk there. Okay, here's Mahela. She, I mean, she still has a kilo over Nina, but Nina's got two attempts remaining. She has a big jump forward. The heavier the weight gets, the further she jumps. The coach looks nervous, tense. Just about, just gonna have to take a step back. Oh. <laughs> Amazing effort. Has to be frustrating. No yeah, I wonder if she got that bar high enough on the jerk there, but. Yeah, she, she oh, looked to be good on the power. She just pushed it way behind her. She was very disappointed in herself there. Uh, three for six, Mahela. But you know what? She is going to walk away with a medal because she took the silver in the snatch at 90 kilos. Yeah. Then 104 in the clean and jerk. That's 194 in the total. She currently sits in the silver medal position, but we do still have two athletes yet to come out. Max, Zhang Hui Hua has got 110. And Mirabai looks like she's going to go for it. She's opened up at 111. Yeah. So despite being a little bit further behind after the snatch, I think she's going to see what she can do. Well, there's definitely an opening for her. She's been pushed five kilos above her first attempt. That's a pretty big jump here. She yeah. obviously got the experience being a 55 to take bigger jumps, but... She is strong. You know, she's yeah. been front squatting pretty heavy weights recently. Oh. Yeah, she just over pulled that. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I got behind the no bar. And but this is a scary position. You know, I don't think I've ever seen her do that. Yeah. Never I mean, that, that looked like a different lift to the one that we've seen her do in the past. Well, you know, when you lose that much body weight, you just don't have as much to uh, to resist the movement of the yeah. barbell. And I mean, when you look at what's happened between a first and second attempt, there's been <laughs> at least four attempts at 105. There's been some 107s, yeah. some 108s. It must have been... Not far 15 minutes since yeah, that so opening attempt. A long time. Tu Ji Hui, uh, who is currently in the lead with 195, is going to look to extend that by a further three kilos. And Max, it's interesting, uh, a lot of these athletes, you know, they put in huge entry totals. Thanks. A lot yeah. of them not really got an anywhere near them. I was just going to say that. We haven't seen 200 yet. Even this is still below. Yeah, and wow, that that's clean, a great jerk. Clean was a bit tougher than expected <coughs> yep. from what we've seen uh, from her in the past. Yeah, I think yeah, we can assume that she's just, she's not in the best shape of her career. Yeah, you know? yeah that'd be my guess. Nobody in this field, nobody in the world has totaled as much as her uh, in this category. She holds the world record, but, you know, today is just not the day that she's going to continue setting world records. That's going to come later on during this uh, wow. Olympic qualifying period. So De La Cruz has pu pushed to 9, 109. Okay. That's going to force her teammate, who presumably wants to surpass her. To go for a new American record, right? Yeah. Because, yeah, I think well, that's Reichert right. has 10 in there. She doesn't make this record. Would have to make 110 to beat her. 110 to beat her. But yeah. if she does, she's going to need 112 for the break her American record. This is a huge lift. It's a kilo more than she was able to make in the Olympics. Oh. Oh. Just didn't no. have the strength. No Little no bobble no on the recovery and, yeah. and misses it. So Lost a bit of balance. She's well, still ahead of her teammate. They're tied on total, but I believe she, she did hit it, it first. first. Yeah, she did. Not that that really has any big play here in this competition, but I think 
from the perspective of the team selection process back home. Now, let, let me ask you this, Max. If both of them hit the exact same total as their heaviest total during this Olympic qualifying period, what does Team USA do? You do know, they then go down to the second highest? It probably is probably going there. to the second highest. I don't think they're going to use chronological order. So Jordan De La Cruz, three for six, 86 in the snatch, 105 in the cleaner jerk. It's a 191 total. Yeah. Here comes Nina Sturks. She currently sits in uh, silver medal, bronze medal position. This will move her up into silver. Oh. It's a bit bad up, but it's still yeah. locked her back, and she's up. Deep recovery there. That's it. That's it. If she can hold it. Let's see. We might see some lights. Yeah, we might. And two to one. Two wow. lights. It's a good stop, lift. Jury stop. Jury, jury stop, stop on that one. Jury stopped, and she's seen that it's been stopped. Uh. Wow. She's, she's such a fighter. Yeah, Just, yeah. We've seen so much from her this competition. The, the grit. That left elbow, Max. We've got the yeah. slow mo on the screen in the, uh, in this competition venue. Yeah. I not see it now on your screen. You can see the lockup's a little delayed, which you know technically is is against the rules. Your arms have to to basically land there at arm's length. Yeah. So we'll see if that gets overturned, but I would be surprised. You know, I think. It's one of those ones where by the left of the law, it's a no lift, but you just want them to get yeah. given it, but no, they've determined no lift. Yeah. More audible booing from the crowd, too. Such a shame. So on the scoreboard, she currently has that as a good lift, but they've just changed it now, which means that unless the next two athletes who have still yet to open miss all six attempts, she's not going to go home with any medals today. Yeah. But I tell you what, her performance in the snatch might end up being, well, I don't know if we can give it the highlight. I mean, Mirabai's save at 87 was pretty oh. spectacular. Yeah. Okay, Jean Hui Hart, opening attempt now at 110 kilos. So Jean Hui Hart has held the cleaner jerk record before at 118 kilos. So this 110. Catches it low, but yeah, she's not up. too hard to get up. Great. Powerful jerk, too. Such great positioning in the split. You know, the, the Chinese spend a lot Good of time there, working on the split wall. jerk, China. more so than most uh, countries do. A lot of, of assistance mouth. exercises in stabilization, yeah. footwork Haley drills. Parker. Overhead work, uh, and you really see it come to play when these athletes push heavy yeah. weights. Mirabai, be ready. Now, just to um, put into perspective how incredible this category is in terms of the world record holders, the total world record has been bumped from 205 to 213 over the last few competitions by Hu Jihui, Zhang Huihua, back to Hu Jihui, who extended it a further three times, back to Zhang Huihua again, and then back to Hu Jihui. Wow. Haley Reichert coming out. 110 kilos. This is a personal best for her. And it is going to move her ahead of her teammate, Jordan De La Cruz. It's not going to put her into a medal position in the total. Might have been the clean and jerk. She's up with it. Tough clean, a tough recovery there. I wow. think she's going to get it. That is a spectacular jerk. Oh, my word. She cannot believe it. The to excitement for the coaches. We the checked the jury, though. No, no flag. Wow, no she's flag got that lift. Jury. That was yeah. amazing. Attempt, After a tough India. climb. It was a brutal she recovery. She a little bit oh. forward, and she was able to get up with it. Yep. You know, was she at a dead stop, or did she, she had to take a couple of bounces to get up with that? Yeah, Coach she definitely. Coach Dane Miller is... <laughs> Happy. <laughs> yeah. He is an animated, animated man. <laughs> wow. So 194 kilos for Haley. Will that Five secure her six. a medal in the clean and jerk? Uh, Bronze, maybe? Maybe. There are still three athletes who could beat it. Hu Hui 
the world record holder, Mirabai Chan, who's coming up now for her opener, the final athlete to open, and of course, Zhang Huihua. So right now, she's in a medal spot for the clean and jerk, but it will come down to whether Hu Zhi Hui can make her third. Now, this is an enormous opening attempt. We're well over double body weight here. Yeah, the current world record holder in this lift. And you can see it there. Yeah. Wow. Brilliant. Ah, uh, was that left arm <laughs> movement there? Uh, I was... That's it. Yeah. No lift. Just okay. barely China see that left attempt. arm is buckling. And Majority we know she's got a wrist injury there, so... 11 kilos remains on the barbell. Going to be tough. Yeah. Second attempt. Are they going to play the challenge card, or...? He's going the wrong way with that. He's got to... Get ready. Yeah, he's got to he's take it out. Told to hand it out the other way. He doesn't know where to yeah. take it. There we go. There we go. Yeah, you could see that left elbow. And, you know, when you've got an injury in the wrist and the hand, it sometimes reduces your ability to move fast, right? You're trying to protect that joint a little yeah. bit subconsciously and don't quite have the speed you need in the lockout to get it where it belongs. So the challenge card has been handed, which means that the team basically want to challenge the call of the judges. The center ref gave her a white. So we're looking at it again now. Yeah. I see what they're looking at. It's her left elbow. Yeah. Uh, you'll see it now in your screens. A little bit of a wobble. Yep, there it is. Yeah. It's similar to De La Cruz, I think, earlier, who also was overturned. I think it's a little bit less egregious, but you know what? It is there. And yeah. You yeah. know. Based on what we've seen it's so far, I yeah. would be surprised if that's given to her. Yeah. The jury upholds the referee's decision. Yeah. No lift yeah. for Mirabai So it's going to remain a no attempt. lift. Oh, well, it looks like Reichert the has a medal because. For on her oh, Hoji Hui is withdrawn. Has withdrawn. Yeah. Wow. So the total world record holder from China, Hoji Hui, has withdrawn. She's, she's guaranteed a medal in the total. Yeah. Uh, and, of course, in the snatch. And so. She's just decided I'm not going to risk it. I'm, yeah. I mean, she's not in great shape. A bit surprising, but she, di she didn't look to be in fantastic no. shape, and she'll probably have plenty more chances yeah, to bring I mean, her total up to the Olympics. This doesn't prove a lot for, uh, for yeah. her. I mean, she's, she's a world champion. She's the Olympic champion. She's yeah. got multiple world records to her name currently. So Mirabai's going to come back out. You know, her coach mentioned about this wrist injury that she actually obtained whilst training in the United States uh, over the last couple of months. Incredibly strong clean. Yeah. And strong legs. I saw her bat squatting 150 kilos a few months ago. That's exceptional. Yeah, three times body weight. It's an enormous lift. Such a strong yeah, clean. Again, easy. See if she can be a little more aggressive with that arm. Yeah. There we go. That was it. That was it. That was it. And that's going to put her up at 198 kilos in the total, which uh, is going to put her into the bronze medal position. Yeah. So currently, the leader is Zhang Huihua at 203. Huji Hui, who's withdrawn, is in silver at 198. And then Mirabai at 198, also in bronze. But Mirabai's got one more attempt, and Hui Hua's got two. Hui from China has withdrawn, passed on her third attempt. So the question now is, what are these next three attempts going to be? We have a change. 114. Zhang Hui Hua is going... For 13. 13. She may. I'm wondering if she's just going to kind of creep up on that. She yeah. has quite a lead in the snatch and really just needs the total. Just make things a little bit more difficult yeah. for Mirabai. If she makes this, she'll be up at 206, which means that Mirabai would need a 120 kilo world record to yeah. overtake her, which if anyone can do it, it is her. She is the world record holder, but is she in world record shape? I don't know. I think she is in the clean. Ah! 
been such a tight competition. Yeah, only one lifter has made all three Queen and Drukes. Yeah, two athletes weren't able to make a total. And she's up with it. Yeah, powerful jerk. Unbelievable how she can do that. So good. You know, she just As lands in the split and doesn't move. Currently the only lifter in the whole session who's actually broke the 200 kilo total mark. Wow. You know, we mentioned that, how all of these athletes kilos. bumped up their entry totals so Ozeliers. high just to make the session. Ozeliers. Two athletes sort of fell prey to that. They weren't able to yeah. open up with lifts that made that 20 kilo rule. Two India. attempts remain. Mirabai presumably is just going to go for a clean and jerk. No, she's not. She's yeah, coming no. out at 113. Why is she doing that? Well, she's got silver. Maybe that's all she really knows she has today. That's a bit surprising. You'd think she'd go for 14 to get yep. the lead in the clean and jerk at least. I mean, this yeah. will give her a 200 kilo total, which maybe she wants to hit 200. Thirty seconds on the clock. That 111 looked certainly easier than Zhang Huihua was able to make her two lifts. Strong clean. Watch for that left elbow. Ah, perfect. Yeah, perfect yeah. yeah, she fixed that. Yeah, so <laughs> it's not going to give her the silver in the uh, clean. And, sorry, it's not going to give her the golden clean and jerk, but it is going to move her up into silver in the total. Still confused as to why she didn't go for the 14, but she ends with a 200 kilo total. That's a guaranteed silver medal for her. One attempt remains for Zhang Huihua. Will she even take it? I mean, she's got the gold medal. The two-time world champion is now a three-time world champion. Yeah. 114 currently written in. Is she going to come out? Is she going to bump up? Twenty. Okay. We're going to see our first world record attempt of this competition now. The Reds come out, which is... That's absolutely insane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's an... Seven kilogram increase yes. from her second. That is what that is. To a world record. This is either maybe foreshadowing for later, or if she comes out and makes this an absolutely miraculous event. Uh huh. Let's hope she does this. Yeah, so she's looking to reclaim uh, a record that she once had. So she held the cleaner jerk record at 118 kilos. She did that at. Uh, She's the coming World out. Championships in 2019. And yep, she's coming out. Okay, this will be spectacular if she makes it. This is a massive lift. Enormous. And she's wow. going to get up with it. Oh Can my, oh. she hold? No. <laughs> oh. Wow, what an incredible effort. No Unbelievable no fight. I mean, the clean just really took her out, but somehow she got up with it. Watching her first two clean and jerks, yeah. if I had told you she was going to take a seven kilogram no. jump for a world record, neither one of us would have thought that. No. That is an absolutely... I suddenly didn't a, think she was going to be able to make the clean after the difficulty yeah. of the, the 113. You know, though, that that's... Is, it's it's almost such a Chinese thing to do, right? To, yeah. to be to win and then take some jump that was just never even in the cards. Yeah. No one expected. No one expected it. Clean it. Yeah. Lock the jerk out. Yeah. In the split. Mm -hmm. Fight with it, but just be an inch too forward. Absolutely unbelievable. So, wow. Okay, that's the end of this 49 kilo category. The gold medal is going to go to Zhang Huihua. She went five for six. 93 in the snatch, 113 in the clean and jerk, 206 in the total. The silver to Mirabai Chanu, who, despite being a total uh, clean and jerk world record holder, is still yet to become a world champion. Uh, she snatched 87, clean and jerk 113, 200 kilos in the total.
Uh, and then the bronze medal will be to Hu Ji Hui from China, 89-109. That's 198. The fourth place finisher, Max, I think, is Mihaela Kambe from yeah. Romania at 194. Nina at 193. Uh, just a, a stunning session. Yeah, uh, stressful, exciting. I mean, we had incredible saves in the snatch portion. Uh, a lot of massive third attempts in the clean jerk. A lot of misses in the third attempt clean yeah. jerks. So everybody going for new positions. Interestingly, only one athlete beat their entry total, and that was the winner, Zhang Huihua. Everybody else fell short. Such was the uh, competition to even make this A category. Yeah, some of the highlights there for sure. Definitely the battle between Sturks and Kambe. Yeah. Uh, two juniors going neck and neck, fighting it out. Uh, lift for lift, ultimately... Kambe comes out ahead by a kilo. Then we saw the two Americans, De La Cruz versus Reichert. Again, yeah. a, a brawl to the very last lift. Yeah, that one uh, ten from Haley. Yeah. What a fight. That's really a, that's a, a significant lift. That that really kind of makes the statement that, yeah. you know, she is ready for the international. She's ready uh, for war. To, yeah, the top lifts. Uh, we even and then, a squat jerk. Yeah, squat jerk. And possibly the highlight, two highlights for me, the lifts were definitely... Uh, Chanu's snatch save, just yes. an absolute... Unreal. So much grit and determination mm -hmm. to make that. Uh, and then the reaction from Sturk's oh, third snatch, word. 89 kilos. I mean, even a second as attempt reaction was yeah. pretty impressive, let alone that third at 89. Yeah, so... And then finally we saw first attempt of this whole competition, a uh, 120 world record world attempt. World record attempt, yeah. Couldn't get any closer. No. No, it really couldn't. Amazing. So that is the end of the women's 49s. We are going to be back in half an hour. It's the men's 55s where we're going to see athletes like Angel Rusev from Bulgaria, one of the fastest weightlifters in the world. We have the two Vietnamese athletes. One of them is the uh, current Asian champion. We have Ali Chontney from Kazakhstan. Uh, it's going to be an absolutely incredible session. So join us back in half an hour. That's going to be it from me and Max over here in Bogota for this Women's 49 Kilo session. And we'll see you all soon.